Hi, welcome to my studio and on this video I'm showing you the brief overview of this bear painting, bear mother and cub that I've recently done and this one's really all about that dramatic lighting so I've kept details um, really down to a minimum. I'm usually known for doing very high level of details but I wanted to keep this much more painterly and all about the dramatic lighting. If you're looking for a full length version, I've got one that's about three and a half hours long where I go into tons and tons of detail on exactly how I created this um, oil painting and the link will be below the video or at the end of it. So let's get started. Now for this one I'm working from a great reference photo from wildlifereferencephotos.com and as you can see here's my easel. Top left I've got my reference photo, I blurred that out so I'm not um, getting drawn in by all the details and I've dragged some colours out off that as well using an image editor. You can see me do that on loads of my YouTube videos, I've got instructions on that. Next across the top then I've specifically looked at colours on the head and the face, those extreme highlights that I want to capture and I've got a detailed view right next to it. And they're all, those two are the roughly the size of the actual finished painting so that I haven't got a, a workout scale in my head just makes it easier to glance up. Across from that then I've got my trusty old color wheel and then down from that I've got my glass palette once again I'll show you how I make that on YouTube. I've got my colors all set out on there and then right in the center I've got my um, canvas. I buy it on a roll, I just stretch it out, stuck it to my board with masking tape and then very importantly I've toned it a mid to darkish tone grey. That's critical, that's going to help me to um, be able to see my highlights, my darks, my mid-tones very easily. It's really critical when you're doing something that's got dramatic light in, such as this one that's kind of a, a subdued painting other than that dra dramatic light in from the reference photo and I've pretty much matched that colour up on my uh, painting palette so when I see the colours I'm mixing on there they behave the same on that mid-tone grey um, canvas as well. Now when I start a painting I generally like to get something, it's one of the very dark darks in very early on and I've done that with the, the nose on the bay. Now that allows me to see where my darkest dark is going to be so I can judge from there. I then like to also early on get a highlight, a very bright highlight in as well. That's critical as I'm just putting it in now because I can I can easily then judge the full range from my darkest dark to my lightest light. It makes everything else much easier to judge so I can easily judge the mid-tones as well. Now you can really see as you, as you um, see this time lapse on screen how much benefit that mid-tone grey is really giving me. Can you imagine if I was painting this on a white canvas I'd really be struggling to um, to assess the highlight in particular. Can you imagine doing that um, without that grey background when I'm doing that highlight down the side of the mother it just wouldn't show up at all so it's really really critical to tone your canvas a mid-tone colour especially for subjects such as this. Now as I said at the beginning of the video I'm keeping detail right down to a minimum particularly on the cub. The cub is not the centre of interest at all, the centre of interest is all that highlight and warm colours on the mother. So the cub has even less detail plus it's also going backwards into the painting a bit. Obviously I need to get the um, tones correct, so the lightness and the darkness and the colours as well, but I really don't need much detail at all in the cub. I'm also keeping detail down to a minimum on the female as well, but obviously I do want some detail in there. So I'm going in with the mid-tone first, then laying the dark on top, and most of this is painted wet on wet, so a lot of it was all done in one sitting. And then I'm going on top of that with the lighter tones. And as I said, this is only a brief, very brief overview of a three and a half hour plus video that I've got on my Patreon art channel. And if you join that, you also get access then to the previous two years worth of, of videos that go on there. I think I must have probably 70 or 80 different subjects on there now from oils, pastels. I've got a couple of colored pencils on there, a couple of charcoals on there, um, gouache on there. 
where it's mainly oils and pastels and many many hundreds well we're into the thousands now of um, subscribers on there so you can see I've done exactly the same with the body gone in with the mid-tone then the dark then the highlight and by putting in the background I can assess better all those colors on the um, adult and the cub as well and that's why I was putting some of the background in earlier on now the foreground needs to be quite detailed it needs to be in fitting with the detail on the female but I'm still keeping that very very loose and just blocking in the color first then coming in with some darks then those highlights and the highlights in particular are a thick paint I'm not thinning them down much at all now the only thinners I've used because I like to keep things really simple on my paintings is just odorless mineral thinners nothing else so it's just the oil paint which I use is alkyd oil paint so they dry by the next morning and the odorless thinners with all the canvas blocked in all that's left to do then is to kind of unify it all I look at all the colors make sure they all um, work together well I start putting in just a few details here and there and then I call this one finished hope you've enjoyed it as I said there's a long long video of it on my patreon art channel and I'll see you all again next time if you're looking for even more great art sources I've really got you covered first off I've got a patreon channel that's been going well over a year or so packed with around about 50 or more videos and new ones every month lots of the videos are uh, many hours long so you can see they're really really in-depth subjects such as um, turtles birds elephants big cats you name it is on there so that's my patreon channel and also on that patreon channel before i go on to something else i've got a secret facebook group so only the members are actually on there it's the most supportive and friendly facebook group that i've ever seen i know i'm biased but it really is We've got uh, four or five hundred members on there and they all help each other. So that's a great added bonus that comes free with it. Also you get line art every month as well. And we've just designed a brand new companion website for it. So if you've joined other patrons and uh, channels and you found it very, very difficult to navigate around, we've got this free website that comes with it. All the videos are now just a single click away. Couldn't be any easier than it is. I've also got my site, jasonmorgan.co.uk. Lots of tutorial videos, DVD discs and downloads on there. And if you're struggling for reference photos for your art projects, I've got some of those too. I've got 900 plus on my website, wildlifeart-online.com. And they will be copyright free for you so you can paint and draw from them and sell your work with no copyright worries whatsoever so hope you like those extra resources and i'll see you all again real soon